to the eating out portion of the budget project. My personal favorite, eating out. Um, you'll find it on the budget project as a link right here. Let's first go over a few things about eating out. Um, first of all, it's important that you budget everything you spend during the month. You don't want to spend more than you earn. And eating at restaurants is definitely one way to go over your budget. Eating out is definitely a want and not a need. So it can be expensive and um, you don't want to do it too often. That's why you want to plan ahead and make sure that it's in your budget. It can be expensive because it costs much higher. The cost is much higher than if you cook your own meal at home because there's a markup. The business wants to earn a, um, a profit. And so they are going to mark up the cost because they are not only cooking your meal and serving it, they also want to make some money on the deal. So it's more expensive to eat at a restaurant than to eat at home. Um, you can look for deals or coupons to help make eating out more affordable. Uh, you can also save money by eating at a restaurant and not ordering expensive drinks or desserts. Um, you'll notice that when you go to a restaurant for a Pepsi or a Diet Pepsi, it's going to cost $3 and something cents. When at home, you could buy a soda, a water, um, sorry, a bottle of soda for 99 cents. So they definitely mark up drinks and desserts a lot. You can also save money by splitting your meal and taking half of it home for another meal. Um, that's another way to uh, make it more affordable. You will also pay a meals tax on your meal. That is not an option. Um, it is required. So you will see this calculated on your check. That meals tax goes to the state. It doesn't go to the restaurant. Um, so don't hold it against the restaurant because you got taxed for your meal because it's a prepared meal. We have a tax on that. The next thing is important to mention is tipping your wait staff. This is really super important to listen to because waiters and waitresses, as many of you will find out when you get older, when you work in customer service as a waiter or a waitress, you are counting on your customers to leave you tips. And in order for them to make money, you need to leave tips. Um, customary, it is um, appropriate to leave a 15% to 20% tip of your bill. So when your whole bill comes, you multiply that by 0.15 or 0.20, and you add that to the total of your bill to calculate your tip. Now, so for those of you um, that need a little extra help in doing that, um, they make tip cards that you can keep in your wallet or your purse. It will list the amount of the check and the amount for you to leave a 15% or a 20% tip. I always leave a 20% tip unless it's absolutely horrible service because I know that wait staff are working a really hard job that I would not want to do and I know they need to earn a living. So I often will, I most always leave 20%. There's also a tip app on your phone, which comes into really handy. You just type in the number of the, let, uh, sorry, the amount of your bill and it will calculate the tip based on 15% or 20%. And um, it would be very rude and disrespectful to actually eat a restaurant at a, at a restaurant and not leave a tip. So don't be that guy. Is it going to save you money? Of course it's going to save you money. But what you're doing is you're selfishly saving money for yourself and not paying for the service that you actually got. Because those people are paid for with tips and not with a paycheck from the restaurant. So make sure you understand that tipping is essential for um, wait staff because that is how they actually earn their money. They don't earn their money in a different way. They don't get a paycheck like you get a paycheck. They have to earn tips. So it's um, appropriate for you to pay them with tips. Now, if I go to the budget project, again, it's here on the budget project list. If I go to it, I see some blue links. Now you do not need to use these blue links. These are just blue links that I found that worked in our local area. Remember that when you're going to click on a blue link, you're going to click the control button and then you're going to click on the blue link so that you get the actual um, link that you can click on. So you may choose one of these blue links. Um, this is an American restaurant that's just got about everything. It's one of my favorites. Texas Roadhouse, Olive Garden, Chick-fil-A, um, Chang Yang Lee, Chinese food and La Coretta because everyone knows Mexican it is my absolute favorite type of food. Now on the menu, you're going to choose your meal. You're going to choose a drink, non-alcoholic, of course. 
write down the item and what the cost of that item is on the menu. You may also post a picture here if you can cut and picture, uh, cut and um, paste a picture. If your device doesn't allow that, then don't worry. Um, I'm not going to count it against you. It's just um, a place for you to put a picture of your favorite foods. Here, you're going to choose an appetizer, the item and the cost. Choose an entree. That's your main selection for dinner. So that's a dinner item and the cost and, of course, a dessert and the cost. Now, when you go out to, to um, eat in real life, you don't always have to get all of those four things. But this budget project is all about you learning the cost of different things. So I want you to look at least for these for this project to build up a whole menu of the meal. Now, you're going to bring down the cost of the meal here. That's the total. Then you're going to need to add a 9% meal tax. It means you take the total and you multiply it by 0 0.09. That answer is going to give you the tax. So you're going to put that amount here. Then you are going to add 15% of the um, tip or 20% for excellent service by multiplying that total by 0.15 or 0 0.20 um, for 20%. And that's going to give you your total cost of the meal. And then this here, I want you to think about in your real life, when you grow up and you're on your own, how many times per month do you think you would go out to dinner? Now, remembering that this is a want and not a need, um, it is a way that you can save money in your budget. But for right now, I want you to just estimate, would you go out once a week? Because that would be four times a month. Would you go out every other week? That would be twice a month. If you were going to save it for a special occasion, you might do it once a month. So deciding on that number, you're going to multiply it here and put the total monthly budget for eating out. That is what's going to move into your final page of your budget project, which if going back, you do view more. And down below, you will see budget reflections right here, monthly budget reflections, your budget sheet. You open that up, there is a place to put the final numbers of all of your pages of your budget project. So you will find the part that says eating out and you will move that total monthly estimate for eating out into that space. So right now it's taking a little bit time to load up. Right here I can see my monthly expenses. So all of these pages, your apartment cost, your total car cost, your monthly groceries cost, your budget for entertainment, here's eating out expenses. You're going to put it right here because, of course, at the end of all this, we're going to see, do you spend less or more than your income? Okay, so basically, you're going to find a fun restaurant to eat at. Remember, you can choose a different one online. Choose your favorite. Find your menu. Add it up plus your 9% um, meals tax, plus your 15 or 20% tip. So you can find the total for your meal and then estimate how many times you would a month go out to eat for your full monthly budget. Okay, so thanks for sticking with me and good luck on this part of the project. I am sure you can do it and I look forward to seeing your favorite foods.